The emergence of procedurally generated environments is essential to taking the next steps towards well-generalizing agents. One environment that currently challenges reinforcement learning developers is Obstacle Tower. Just a few weeks ago, a challenging competition on this environment concluded with many exciting entries. In this video, I will guide you through our approach towards achieving the 7th place. In Obstacle Tower, the agent's goal is to ascend the tower by facing more and more dangerous obstacles. The difficulties of training an agent comprise sparse and delayed rewards, as well as long time sequences of decision making and planning. On top of that, the environment benchmarks the agent's ability to generalize by featuring countless numbers of different towers and multiple level designs. Our focus was set on increasing the sample efficiency during training. We also worked on supporting the agent in executing a difficult double jump to solve a certain key puzzle. Now let's talk about our taken approach. First of all, we implemented proximal policy optimization with linearly decaying training parameters such as the learning rate, the clip range and the entropy bonus. Concerning the agent's observation space, we collect RGB images across three states and add the information about the remaining time and whether the agent has a key or not. For the action space, we reduce the number of available actions and implemented action branching. This allowed us to add another action dimension, which enables the agent to decide on how many frames to skip, or in other words, on how many steps to repeat the selected action. Our model encodes states by using three convolutional layers that are similarly parameterized to the ones that are used for Terra environments. Before decoupling the value function from the policy, a hidden layer is added. One more hidden layer is used for each of the decoupled components. For a small experiment, one GRU layer was added right after the convolutional layers. The last part of our approach deals with the so-called CEDAR. Our intention is to let the agent explore harder problems, like the double jump, more frequently to decrease training time. Doing so asks the CEDAR to monitor the agent's performance across 100 tower seats at an episode window of 10. Based on these performances, seats that perform worse are more likely picked for training. Now let's examine the resulting behavior which was trained from floor 0 to 9. It has to be noted that the recurrent policy and the CEDAR were not used for the underlying result. The agent trained for 10 days to achieve a mean floor of 8.4 in the evaluation seats of the challenge. Right after the deadline of the challenge another submission reached mean floor 9.8, which is a lucky shot because of the stochastic nature of the agent. It can be observed that the agent likes to go through doors, even if he passed them already. So this means that occasionally the agent may move back to the very beginning of the floor. This is due to the poor observation of the agent, which does not have a memory and can only react to immediate situations. Also, the shaky movement can be related to this issue. However, the agent generalizes well across the evaluation seats. Also, the model is able to cope with three level designs that it was trained on later on. As of now, on the evaluation seats and using three level designs, the model reaches a mean floor of 8.8 .8 by trying each seat 10 times. Despite the promising generalization capabilities, the agent still needs a lot of training time. The ancient theme was trained on a Tesla V100 and the other ones on a much slower Quadro K1200. To improve the performance of the agent, more work has to be invested. For instance, a proof of concept environment is needed to run initial experiments faster. To improve the agent and especially to approach the Zokuban puzzle, a more sophisticated model is desirable as well as a richer state representation. Exploration is a concern as well. The winner of the Obstacle Tower Challenge implemented a hierarchical lie concept called Priarchy. That seems to be promising for further investigations. Also, experimenting with intrinsic motivation may be useful. At last, augmenting the training data may potentially reduce training time and make the model more robust. Now it is time to roll up our sleeves and master Obstacle Tower without the help of domain knowledge.